Good Friday and this Bible study, uh, some thoughts on it is finished. Well, what is finished? Well, we'll come to that in a few minutes. I came across this uh, poem by T.S. Eliot called The Hollow Man and right it concludes by these words. He says this, this is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Jesus said, it is finished. That's recorded in John's Gospel, John chapter 19. The problem is though, he, John doesn't tell us how, what kind of tone that Jesus used. Uh, a life that's summed up in inflection. Was it the way that T.S. Eliot may have suggested, in a whimper? Or did Jesus breathe in a deep, everlasting satisfaction? How were those words, it is finished, pronounced? And what kind of tone did Jesus use? Well, development psychologist Eric Erickson writes that in the final stages of living, when death is imminent, we face an ev evaluation of how we have conducted our lives. We answer this inquiry with a feeling of integrity or despair. And now the story of Jesus is one of integrity. His, he embodied integrity itself. And so according to Mark and Matthew's gospel, when Jesus uttered the words, it is finished, it was with a loud cry. In other words, Jesus gave up his spirit as a victor, as somebody who had completed what he had come to do. It is finished was not a whimper, but went out with a bang because he had completed his task. So let me now give you five little points regarding that term, it is finished, as I've come to understand that. Hence this little bit of Bible study here. Okay, it is finished. What is finished? Well, firstly, man's power over him is finished. His persecutors, the religious leaders, the executors had done their worst. But it was Jesus who would not be broken by man's inhumanity. He chose when he was going to be broken. Man had done to broke his emotional state, his psychological state, his body to be ripped apart. And yet Jesus chose when he would die. It is finished. Secondly then, when he said it is finished, what else was finished? The tyranny of the devil was finished. I don't think the church has awakened up yet, but it is finished. The power of Satan and his minions has been broken over humanity. So when Jesus uttered those words, it is finished, uh, he went down into the depths of hell itself and every corridor he went, it is finished. Your power over humanity is finished. You no longer have dominion. The power is gone. Satan's power has been bound. He is no longer able to come and do what he had promised to do all the time, which was totally and utterly destroy humankind and destroy God's world order. No, Jesus said, it is finished. You cannot do it any longer. And not only that, death itself has lost its sting because Jesus took away the death as well. And the penalty of death, he paid the price. It is finished. The power of Satan and minions is finished. Thirdly then, when he said it is finished, what else was finished? Well, the suffering of Christ and the demands of the law was finished. No longer are human beings under a legal system in the Old Testament when they had to produce all sorts of various sacrifices to atone for their sins. No longer is the case, but God's dealing with us is now based on his unique promise of grace. The righteous standard of God was met by Jesus Christ. The substance has now come. The sacrifices of the Old Testament were, as the Hebrews tell us, the book of Hebrews tells us, it was a shadow. But the substance, the true reality is Christ. And when he had come and he had taken all of human beings' sin upon himself, the judgment of sin upon himself, so we can now be completely free and receive the grace of God. It is finished, the suffering and the penalty that we had to pay is finished. Jesus atoned for all of humanity. Fourthly then, when Jesus said, it is finished, 
What else is finished? Temptation itself has finished. No more temptation. Its power of temptation has gone. It's no longer over him. No more dependence upon human agency. He has gone through the tunnel of temptation and he's come out victorious. No man has ever done that. This unprecedented act is an unrepeatable act. The power of temptation has been broken. And anyone who is in Christ, as Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians, that we are no longer, uh, uh, that temptation's power is no longer there over us. No man has been tempted beyond his means, as Paul tells us. And certainly, if we look to Christ when temptation comes, we don't have to submit to temptation. We can overcome temptation because Jesus Christ said, it is finished. What's finished? Th lastly then, the fifth point is this, the language of the earth is finished. Why? Because heaven's language is never, it is finished. You see, Jesus lives in eternity. And we shall live with him, those who have a relationship with Christ, who've accepted his sacrificial death upon their cross upon for themselves. It is finished. Jesus now lives in heaven for eternity. And it's never going to be finished because eternity means we keep on discovering new aspects of God. On this earth, we only have a hairbreadth understanding of who God is. There is so much more to him. So the limitations of this earth are finished in Christ. We've got heaven to, to, uh, to, to understand his magnitude and his bigness and his greatness. It is finished. Heaven is waiting. So for us then, for those of us who are in Christ, man's power over us is broken. We no longer need to fear man. Okay, the fear of man is broken over our lives. Secondly, the fear of Satan and his minions is broken over our lives because Jesus Christ has conquered that. Thirdly, the power of temptation no longer has to come upon us. Fourthly, the suffering of Christ but led us into the ministry of grace, the understanding of grace, the new dispensation of grace to, to come into the presence of God. And then lastly, the language of the earth is no longer bound upon us because we are heavenly beings. That's why we pray, heaven come down. That's why we pray, your will as it is in heaven come down here upon the earth. Jesus said it is finished. Everything of this world is finished over those who belong to Christ. This Good Friday is truly Good Friday if you understand what Christ has accomplished. Well, I hope this message, this Good Friday message has been a blessing to you. And if it has, please do give me the thumbs up. Please do write a comment or two and please do pass it on to others. Please do subscribe as well. And I look forward to speaking to you very soon. May God bless you as we approach this Easter season, recognizing firstly, Good Friday, everything that bound us, in, uh, that, that stopped us from knowing Christ, Good Friday accomplished and paid the penalty. So now we can enjoy the resurrection Easter Sunday. May God bless you. Amen.